I'm Sandra Moscoso. I am a parent of two children, two public school students on Capitol Hill. I think I first started working with open government data, looking at enrollment patterns in the schools, scraping data from DC government sites. I didn't know that's what it was called. I didn't know that's what it was. I just knew I needed the data to you know, help inform our decisions and how we were going to proceed as parents in engaging with DC public schools. Librarians has been like the very visible thing that CHIPSO, the Capitol Hill Public School Parents Organization, has been working on, but it is the whole budget process that we would love to address. DC Public Schools has cut some key resources, so principals are put into the position where they have to kind of make a decision about their resources. They're not, by default, being given a librarian. It's harder for children to get one-on-one -on -one time with teachers, and uh, librarians are a great way for kids to follow their own interests. As part of this process, we were able to run around and collect data the hard way <laughs> about librarians in all of DC public schools. And thanks to the Office of the State Superintendent of Education publishing standardized test score data in Excel, we added on the librarians into that data set and just kind of looked at whether we could find any trends. And what we found was that in schools that had full-time librarian, from last year to this year, improved by an average of 10%, which is huge because there has not been very much improvement overall. That was kind of an exciting thing to be able to pull together and help us have um, an informed conversation with DC Public Schools. So if we have access to that data, to that information, the same information that we're hoping they're using to make decisions, and that's something that helps us as parents be better advocates. We've had this series of either bake sales or rallies. So we organized one at the Wilson Building. A few DC public school students showed up and made signs and tried to just get attention and really hoping that they'll reconsider or at the very least answer the questions um, about where that funding is going if it's not going to librarians. If you go to data.dc.gov, you're not going to find very much data. I certainly have sent lots of tweets to the Office of the School Superintendent of Education or emails just asking for more data. So now I see when they publish results of the standardized testing, it's a PDF but also an Excel spreadsheet which makes it a little bit easier. Everything is publicly funded, so why shouldn't every single thing be made public? One thing is you know, dropping my kids off at school or helping them through a project, and that's just really benefiting my kids. But when I think about um, investing just a little bit more time and putting in a little bit more effort that benefits their entire class, all of these children are part of my children's community. As many opportunities as I can provide for my children, these children should have.